Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Mason Media tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at using compound nodes inside of DaVinci Resolve 12.5. It's very exciting, but it's basically just like pre-compositions inside of After Effects. And for some reason, Blackmagic decided not to call them pre-comps in this. So they're called compound nodes. Whatever, we know what they do. So let's get into DaVinci Resolve and get started. We've got a clip and it's the end of the day and we just don't feel like doing any work so we're going to apply a power grade. Now luckily I have a bunch of these stored up just from playing around and whatever that maybe I'll release as a pack one of these days if I organize and name them and etc. But normally if you apply these it's just a total mess so it's going to do that guy now. Oh look at all these nodes are all over the place you got to organize stuff that's uh, uh, all an annoying. Now with compound nodes what you can do is from here you can control drag just like that they're all one node and you see if you right click and go to decompose there's all the nodes right there or show compound node graph it'll even give you a whole separate node editor where you can edit them all and then go back and it'll be right like that and now if you say you've made a big old grade like we'll say this one will work perfect so you've made this and we'll say that it is halfway neat looking or not you know, it doesn't really matter. My oh, goodness, we got to make this a little bit more neat looking. I'm not OCD at all, but this is just unacceptable. Okay, beautiful. So let's say you want to get this all as a compound node. We want to add more later on. Just select all these, right click, create compound node, and there we go. Now, that's great for organization, but check this out. I'm going to reset all these, going to... Control drag this back on there, hit shift S to add a node beforehand. So now you have this one compound node that's got all of these nodes inside of it. And before, if you wanted to reduce the opacity of this grade, you'd basically have to add a layer mixer node at the end and add another node on top of here. It's just a big old mess. And I'm not even going to walk you through that because it is totally irrelevant now. So we've got this and we say that looks fantastic it's just a little bit too strong we can go over to our key tab and reduce the opacity of the entire power grade whoa and this works for all existing power grades so if you've got someone else's power grade pack then you can just control drag onto your current grade and reduce the opacity and that is just that is just the bomb that is just the bomb.com in my opinion because you know me i tend to grade pretty extreme especially when i'm just playing around but now now it's just this nice little diddly boop. We can crunch it up, do a little bit of this nonsense. Look at that. Very cool. Or not. Who cares? Compound nodes. I'm excited. You should be too. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If I've missed any features of compound nodes, let me know because this is pretty new to me. And, you know, I'd like to really get to know how to use these things. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, check out MeesterMedia.com slash products. We've got the House Lutz pack and the Bright Lights Light Leak pack. And maybe one of these days I'll put my power grades up there if I organize and name them. And maybe people who have already downloaded the House Lutz and or Bright Lights Light Leak pack, they might get a little either preview or promo or discount or something. I don't know. We'll see. So if you're into that, check that out. Also, be sure to share this video with your friends because compound notes are important. And if your friends don't know about compound nodes, then you should probably rethink who you are having as a friend. Once again, I've been Theo with Mr. Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.